normal service has been resumed. That little experiment last week with the bank bags, rolly over bags, whatever you want to call them, is finished. We are back with the sealed bags and from now on it's sealed bags forever. Yes, so uh, welcome back to another Coins to Collect video. Two pound coin hunt today, 500 pound in a sealed bag. Uh, this one is dated 29th of the 1st, 2020. So probably no Navy Centenaries, uh, not sure. Well, the old ones before we started seeing loads more come into circulation. Maybe some Great Fire Londons, maybe, hopefully, praying, wishing for some Shakespeare's comedies. I never found a Shakespeare's comedy in a hunt. Really looking forward to finding one. Of course, we are still missing from the book the four Commonwealth coins that will go in those spaces there. I'm missing a Olympic centenary and the Rio handover two pound coin, which will go in that space there. And then everything else I have, Navy centenary, all the Shakespeare's, Britannia's, up to the Great Fire of London. And at the back of the book, I've got one territory coin and some oddities as well. So yes, so we're looking for the Olympics. We're looking for those Commonwealths. Okay. Let's get into this bag. Yeah, so I think it was about the end of April, beginning, uh, sorry, the end of March, beginning of April, that we first started seeing all the Navy centenaries sort of flooding into the hunts. I think Christopher Klex was the first one to find um, a full bag. I think he had a full 500 pound bag just Navy Centenaries and Great Fire of London. So that's when they first started um, coming through, you know, being released from the, oh, what are they called? Change centers? All right, anyway, um, Britannia there. We'll make that the first bag. So I'm gonna give these a quick count. So one, two, three, Four, and that was 25. Have I just put the... Where'd my Britannia go? Where'd my Britannia, what have I done? Oh, whatever, that's 25. We'll start with this one then. <laughs> Let's get cracking. So on top, straight away, that is technology. And that is the definitive coin up to 2015 when Britannia took over. There are some oddities, there are some rarer, lower mintage of these, but um, yeah, no, not too worried. Uh, those will all go straight back to the bank. And is this first bag gonna be a technology's bust? Yes, it is. So then we crack on with the next bag. Uh, where's that little, there we go. Okay, see we, oh look, Rugby World Cup. That is our first commemorative today. And you always have to, always, I always have to remember to look for the, uh, the year, the date, 1999 on the edge of the coin. Cause sometimes there's a weak strike on the one and it looks like 999. But uh, yeah, that one's quite clear. Uh, that way, right. There you go, Rugby World Cup, first one we found. There you go, Charles Dickens. We pretty much find one of those every hunt, I think at the moment. Very common coin. of union that's the uh, union between England and Scotland I think I think Christopher calls it the act of onions or something <laughs> there you go very common coin 
top row find. Where are we? There we are. There we go. A bit of a weathered and worn Trinity house. Lighthouse. Very common. Great little design though, I quite like that one. But uh, yeah, very common, never mind. Oh. DNA double helix. Which way up there? Yeah, that way. There we go. It's a little bit fussy, a little bit busy for my liking, but like I said before, it's DNA strands. It can't be simple. <laughs> it's life itself. And that's not simple, so yeah. Very shiny, 2015. Very nice. And then to finish that bag, look, a very splendid Florence Nightingale, if I can get it up the right way, there we are. That is a cracking design and it's probably one of my favourites. It's, it's certainly up there in the top five of the uh, two pound coins. I was watching Laughter's two pound coin hunt last week, the other week, and he said something about a pie chart. Our Florence Nightingale was one of the first people to use a pie chart, and that's the design at the back of the coin. So, yeah, okay. If he says it, I'll believe him. <laughs> I think that's the Britannia I saw at the beginning. There we go. So, what year is that? The first year of the Britannias was 2015. Like I say, when it took over from the technologies as the definitive coin. And then there was 2016. We had no 17s, 18s or 19s. Because there was just not the demand for £2 coins. The 16 is a higher mintage and the more desirable one is the 2015. So, oh, it's a 16. Still very nice. 16, I've got lots of 16s. I haven't got any 2015s at the moment. I think I sold my last couple on eBay. All right, let's crack on. Just uh, Brunel's arches in that bag. Very common coin. Very, very common coin. There we go, St Paul's VE Day celebrations. Again, a very common coin, but that is a cool design, isn't it? Lovely. There you go, that is the Trev is terrific two pound coin. <laughs> that steam locomotive. I struggled to say the name of the guy who built that steam locomotive. It's something like Richard Trevific. Trevific? Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. I think I might have actually uh, got that one right for once. Trev Trevific. Ugh. Oops. 
There you go, Dan Temple's obviously had this bag before me and he's been painting the coins again. You know, that's actually not a bad idea, Dan. See if you can fill in some of those little spaces and paint, you know, decorate a technology coin. A really minute little detail. That'd be pretty cool, actually, mate. There you go, just the technologies. But we have the man and ape. That's Charles Darwin. We don't find that too often. In fact, I think that one has been renamed as uh, Bungle and the Ape <laughs> or someone. Anyway, like I say, we don't find it that often, but it is quite a common coin, so top row finds. And that is the other Brunel coin. That's Brunel's portraits. So we got the sort of Brunel mini set, this one, and the arches of Paddington Station. So, woohoo, mini set. That's about the best thing we can say about this one so far. <laughs> oh dear. Another Charles Dickens. Three of him now. Oh, just technologies to finish that bag. Never mind. We got four bags left. Come on, Olympic centenary. There you go, one of my top five favorite two pound coins. That's the golden guinea. Very nice, over face value. Um, and that is probably, I don't know if I'll keep the Britannia, but the Golden Guinea is probably the only one out of this whole hunt so far. Fingers crossed for a Commonwealth in the last bag. Uh, but yes, the Golden Guinea is probably the only one of these I'm gonna actually keep, possibly. But it's a bit grubby, so it might just go straight back into circulation, which is a good thing. So it hasn't cost me any money this hunt. I just put all the coins back in the bank, get a new bag out, recycling. There we go. Another Charles Dickens. Four of him now. Technologies. Ah, that's a nice one. Shoulder to shoulder. That's World War One, the Army Centenary coin. That's slightly over face value too. That's nice, cool. It'll probably go straight back into the bank, that one. I have a few. I do not see the point of keeping hold of loads of coins that aren't gonna fill an album, aren't gonna, you know, just, just sitting in a, a, in a box somewhere. I don't see the point in that. And that'll be the last commemorative of our hunt, and that is a very poor quality army centenary. So if we put that, where'd it go, there it is. Put them together, wow. They've had very different lives, haven't they? Yeah. Poor things. The life of a coin, eh? If you could only find out what's happened to that coin, if that coin could tell a story, that'd be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? Okay, All right, so nothing for the book, nothing for the album. I do, do you know, I might just chuck everything back. I know the pretend is pretty cool, but everything might just go straight back to the bank. I don't know, I'll have a little think about that. Anyway, sorry about that guys, bit of a poor hunt today. Never mind, I'm sure better things are to follow very soon, hopefully. We need to find those Commonwealths. Right, there we go. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like the video. If you hit that notification bell, you'll never miss another episode. If you can share my videos with friends and family, that would be absolutely amazing. I just thank you so much if you did that for me. But until the next hunt, please keep looking out for those coins to collect.